This is Lost Stop Kebab, the only place in the world where you can enjoy a delicious kebab in the other world famous London Double Decker Red Bus. Since this is usually a tech channel, I will give you the tech content at the end of this video as this was an unplanned run and gun filming and I had limited equipment. Lost Stop Kebab is open Monday to Sunday between 11 a.m. and 3 a.m. and is located on 150 Bridport Road, London N181HA. Conveniently situated right opposite the North Middlesex University Hospital NHS Trust. Details will be in the description below. This unique converted kebab shop opened in the second week of February 2020 and replaces an existing kebab shop which is part of a traditional London Turkey shop next to it. First, let's take a tour inside. Enter the bus and you should be met with a very familiar driver cab to anyone who has ever taken a ride on the London Double Decker bus until you turn to the right and the once familiar scene of tired looking people is now replaced with a busy kebab shop at the back, almost hiding behind a queue of customers. The first impression is wow. Then in my case, you are quickly met with a rather difficult and tight space to maneuver, considering I'm also trying to operate a DSLR camera and microphone. You can order the food as you would in any other kebab shop and go take a seat upstairs or as a takeaway. During busy times, there is a waitress to do the food run up and down the stairs. At other times, one of the staff will bring you your order upstairs. Walking up the stairs again should be really familiar and on the upper deck, all the seats have been modified to create a booth style seating arrangement with the addition of tables. So today we're speaking with Frat. Amar. Amar, and you're one of the chefs for um, the, one of the Last one, of Kebab Shop. Yeah, one of the chef and partner of business. What was the inspiration behind doing something like this here? Uh, because of new generation, everyone, they like to uh, use the uh, internet, Instagram, YouTube, that type of thing, they like to share in it. That reason, we want to get a kebab shop over here. Just think, we want to have to be get something different. We are making a decision to get uh, London bus and I wasn't not anyone used before and it's the first kebab shop all over the world I was checking it really yeah. so there's no other double-decker bus kebab shop sure. in the world in the world that this is, is the unique first man. One, yeah fantastic okay brilliant yeah. and uh, your opening hours are between uh, 11 and, uh, three in and three in the morning yeah okay and what happens at 3 a.m. when you're trying to go down? We, we are always busy. People come far away and they still want a service. They come from London, outside London, to, to come to see it. We're on only social media at the Which moment. One? Uh, Instagram. Instagram? And what's yeah. it called? It's called Lost Stop Kebab. Lost Stop Kebab, okay. Yeah. And do you think you're going to keep opening seven days a week? Um, this is the uh, business yes, model, yes, yeah? Yes, yes, we are. What's your busiest time during the day? Especially lunchtime, they start from 12 o'clock uh, till now, it hasn't been stopped. This is always we are so busy. And especially lunchtime, one to three o'clock is much more busy. What is your specialty for here? Or is everything like really nice? It's not just a gimmick, your food is actually really nice. We ask everything is nice. Uh, <laughs> this is not like what I'm on the kebab, but I ask all my customers. Mm -hmm. Where they try it, uh -huh. they're happy with it. Yeah. Let's ask some of the customers what they think of the food. My, she doesn't she doesn't make, so you make that up? Just so what do you think of the food? Well, uh, delicious. I see, I mean, very beautiful, nice. Yeah. Nice people. Yeah. yeah. I'm in there first time, but. I'm happy to hear. Okay. Uh, I'm happy to see you. Very delicious. Very nice. Thank, thank you. Many. We're speaking to Vishma and. Honestly, it's five stars, man. It's creative, but I haven't seen it before. And they're new to the area. So, are you just saying this because it's a new gimmicky thing? Or? It's a new gimmicky thing, and I just live around the corner, innit? And I, they, usually, they had, they, before before they started this, they had a regular, um, I think, a regular kebab thing. Right. And it was doing good, because yeah. it's right next to the hospital and all of that, so uh -huh. people used to eat a lot, but... I don't know why they switched that up, but I'm glad they did, because yeah. it's, 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 it's a good gimmick. So it's not just the concept, it's just the food as well? It's food is good as well, it. everything about it is class. What did you just have? I just had a quarter pounder with chips, and I'm, I'm about to eat a burger, but I've heard good things about it. So you best get a good job then, because you're going to have to be forking all this money out for honestly, this. Honestly, honestly, yeah. <laughs> like I live around the corner, so they'll be seeing me often. <laughs> all right, thanks, Sam. Anything else you want to say? That's it. Any shout oh, out to anyone? And not at the moment, but anyone local to Edmonton, come by, give it a shout. Have a taste. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, bro. No problem. Today, I'm just going to be testing their falafel. 
Usually when I find a new eating place, I always like to inquire about their meat source. Some of the viewers will understand this part, not to say anything is inherently bad, but it's just the way I approach any new restaurant. So for those of you who are interested to research, they have their certificate displayed inside the shop. The falafel was really nice, not oily and had lots of flavors. So was the salad, grilled peppers, hummus and another pink sauce, which I'm not sure what it's called. Everyone I have asked so far has rated the food as five stars. I would say if you really want to try this kebab shop, come during non-peak times as space for maneuvering is very difficult otherwise. The London bus concept is a nice concept. So do you have proprietary copyright ID protected on I, this? I've done already. You've done already? Uh, so no one can copy this? No, no, no. But so you, do you, would you consider doing something like maybe franchising in the future or opening other branches, other places? Uh, I, think, uh, I think we have both sides yeah? for franchise and uh, for opening other few shops as well. Okay. Uh, I'm just dealing with the couple of places now. Okay. Any last words for us? Thank you for your come. Thank you for your show us supporting. Okay. Cool. And uh, I hope we'll see you with the next bus again. Let's hope so. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. And now for the tech part. If you're wondering, I'm using the Canon EOS 650D on a flat profile, may do some post-color grading with the Comica CVM V30 Pro shotgun microphone. However, this was an unplanned filming without any external stabilization, only inland stabilization, so there may have been some shaky footage, unless I correct that in post. Unfortunately, without being able to monitor the audio, it was set to manual at 25% gain only on the DSLR. It should have been around 50%. So all in all, not the best production value. And if anything, this has showed me that the DSLR EOS 650D camera's autofocus is not great and neither is the low light filming at night and that I should be thinking about upgrading if I want better quality footage in 2020 and onwards. Don't get me wrong, this is still a decent DSLR and if you can control lighting, stabilization and audio, you can produce high quality professional footage. But there are so many newer options with better features and for quick shoots, you would need something better and keep this one as a second camera. Thank you for indulging this. Those of you who are long-time followers and who have been watching my recent uploads will know that the channel is going through some changes and I'm trying some new things. So bear with me and I will always try to give you some tech content even if it's in this type of context. In the meantime, if you want to improve your relationship with technology, check out these other videos on your screen. Consider subscribing and click the bell icon. And don't forget to use my Amazon affiliate links in the description below. This was Ash from In My Tech and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.